been growing. It's a fairly new one. And here we have a big, big beef tomato plant right here. It's got one tomato growing on it already. It's already like three, three and a half feet tall already. Put it in there for cage for support. And then we have the veggie cage here. Here we got a lot of flowers. Uh, oh, it looks like there's a tomato growing. Where are we? Um, sorry, it's zoomed in too much. Let's see, where is that one at? Oh, right there it's growing. Okay. You can see that right there. There's actually two plants here. Got some nice big beef there, and I have another big beef over here. A little different spot, seems to be doing okay. It was grown after these two were grown. And the wife's roses. We got our flowers over here. Store bought in there. But these, the girls and I all agree. Our zinnias, Johnny Jump Ups. Um, can't think what that is. And we've got our lettuce over here, tomatoes, or uh, strawberries. Here's our two-year-old tomato plant here. We've got some tomatoes ripening right now, and there's a big one down there. It's about I've counted about 12, 13 on here already. This is a two-year-old tomato plant. This is one that was in the house during the winter, produced some fruit, and uh, brought it back, uh, hardened it up outside, and it's doing real well out here now. Then these carrots are all going to seed. Got some little, I think those are beetles. Haven't figured it out. They fly, but this one's almost ready to dry out, and then you collect the seeds. That's two year old carrots that have gone to seed here. Um, spray millet for the birds, more strawberries, lettuce. We got a pepper plant growing in a pot here. That way it's easily easily moved. And we got our corn. And our squash. I'm gonna do some more squash. I got three in the ground and one hanging up over here on the topsy turvy. And we're letting our radishes go to seed here. You can see these pods right here. Let them dry out and they'll have uh, your seeds in them. There's some real big ones up here. And we got cantaloupe growing here and here. Got our potatoes which are drying out right now. They'll be ready in a few weeks. More potatoes. Pumpkins. Actually got a pumpkin growing right there and our orange tree it's got a lot of orange blossoms on it you can see these right there those will be oranges by December we got more flowers over here more flowers and then our beans got uh, Kentucky Wonder Beans over here and Pinto Beans over here and here's our squash upside down squash upside down cucumber nothing there yet but then our pepper here doing real well here's um, a flower already Real good, and I want to show you this over here. Not the dog, too big white butt. I had the chance.
change this because it was bending the shepherd hooks too much. So I had to put a hook up here, the tree, and there's our tomato plant. I'll show you. This one's doing real well too, like the two-year-old tomato plant. It's got about a dozen tomatoes growing on it. There's a whole bunch of them right there. So these are patio princesses, unlike the big beef. I haven't noticed any um, uh, tomato worms on these things, the smaller ones, which is nice. But the, tom the big beef have had tomato worms on them. So there we are, our helper had to keep it up high so the dog doesn't eat them. Got a tomato eating dog, so there you go, TiVo Pro out. One other thing I want to show you was our herb garden out here. We've got a lot of herbs growing in this garden here. We've got cilantro growing here. And uh, if I can find everything here. We've got dill growing here. It's already shooting out. Um, some chives, not looking so hot. Um, and we've got some chocolate mint in here. This thing's taken off like crazy. This is chocolate mint right here. Picked it up at Orchard Supply. We've got two of them somewhere. Oh, right here's the other chocolate mint. And uh, some uh, sweet peas growing back here up a, a lattice. But there's one, there's three of them back there. And we've got some parsley here and this one's sweet marjoram right here sweet marjoram and spearmint that I brought over from the uh, foreclosed house two doors down about a month ago and that thing's taken off I told my wife I wanted to put it in a pot because it's very invasive it goes everywhere sweet basil not doing so hot I don't know it's too warm Supposed to be 100 this weekend. I don't know why I put a bunch of Walla Walla onions over here. They're doing all right. They need some water. But. And then we've got more another flower pot here. We um, zinnias, Johnny Jump Ups, um, some broccoli here. Broccoli, a couple potato plants here. I can show you my other potato plants in the backyard. Um, some artichokes growing up here and more roses. We've got a yard full of roses. And I'll show you the other yard. Here's our garden bed here. We've utilized a garden bed in the back of a foreclosed home here. And uh, you can see we've been keeping it pretty green back here. It's really nice. I would like to have hung some baskets up there but decorative grapes I trimmed those this back in February house been foreclosed since December and uh, I don't know if this is anyone can identify this that's a, a pear or a persimmon tree it looks like persimmons someone can uh, tell me hey, there's one right here can't tell what it is but we've got two cherry trees back here that are blossoming got some cherries on there it's just a matter of keeping the birds off I put a, a CD up there it might be helping I don't know but they're really going after that cherry tree both of them that one's tart and that one's sweet anyway here's our tomatoes we got some flowers growing on it we've got three tomato plants here we've got two cucumber plants we've got two peppers and 36 stalks of corn. Think we got enough corn here. We'll grow some more later. And then we got a row of lettuce growing over there. And then our, our strawberries have been taken care of. This is an apple tree. I want to say an apple tree. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it could be apple. A bunch of apples. And over yonder. We've got pretty flowers over here for a foreclosed home. <laughs> I'm giving it some water. There's some weeds here in and out in there somewhere. 
And this one's either apricot or peach. I'm not sure. I think they're apricots. These look like apricots. Maybe someone can tell me if I'm wrong or right. Apricots. But that's our foreclosed property we've been taking care of back here. That's been sold, so we see what they want us to do with the garden, but pretty nice flower bed there. Got a lot of uh, spearmint in there. Keeps the bugs out. You see some of the spearmint that grows in there. And snails and slugs are non-existent. Flip over here, they seem to be in the strawberries a little more. So, okay, that's TiVo Pro.